Today we're going to talk about sustainability, environmental impact, and how Nadura Insulated Concrete Forms fits into that equation. Many folks know that ICF are energy efficient buildings, but they do worry that the EPS foam and the concrete isn't as environmentally sustainable as perhaps wood. Let's look at the big picture when we're comparing these two. Since most people are familiar with wood structures and because of the whole carbon thing, they think that it's more environmentally friendly. Okay, but we already know that a wood structure is less insulation, they're not very efficient, they're not airtight, there's no continuity in the system or the insulation. So now the next step is if you want to try to build something comparable to ICF, you have to upgrade that system. Now you're looking at additional products, additional labor, more trucking, transportation, manufacturing, waste, all those things. So when we're talking about this subject, you have to factor all of that into your equation. Now the reason people would want to upgrade a wood frame structure is because they believe that wood is carbon negative. Because they, of course, they've absorbed carbon throughout their life. So now, theoretically, on paper, you have a carbon negative house, okay? But there's examples where now, if you want to upgrade that system, now you're just using more additional lumber and, like I already said, more materials, more steps, more labor. Now the reason wood isn't as environmentally friendly as you might think is because let's just think about the process for a second. You cut these trees down. Now you gotta log them, haul them to a mill. That mill has a big infrastructure, takes a lot of power to run. Now you've cut this material, you have a two dimension. Now you have to kiln dry it. You have to get that wood to a certain percentage so that you can actually build with it. Well, the kiln dry, I don't know how much energy it takes, but I know it's very substantial. So you have to equate that into the whole big picture. So now that's all done, it's packaged. They haul that then to the hardware store, and then you or me, we order that. They put it on another truck and bring it to site. Now it's finally ready to use. So when you really break it down, it's not that good. Concrete isn't nearly as harsh on the environment as you might think, because cement powder is mined locally. For example, here in Canada, it's mined just a couple hours from here. Same with your concrete ingredients, your aggregates and your gravel. Those are all mined locally. Probably concrete comes within an hour of your location because they're not gonna ship all these products overseas. It's just way too heavy. When we talk about insulated concrete forms from Nadura, whether you know it or not, there's 40% more insulation built into the block. They're 60% more energy efficient and up to 10 times more airtight. There's also disaster resilience, sound qualities, Everything that's great about ICF is all built into one step. So as soon as you pour that concrete, you have the structure you need, you have continuous insulation on either side, continuity right from the footings to the roof, and it really is just that simple. Now, if you want to upgrade your insulation with ICF, Nadura makes a product called XR35. It's a block with more insulation. So now you just simply upgrade to that. There's no additional labor, and boom, you have an R35 house, just like that. So that's the ingenuity behind Nadura and products such as this. So you have this efficiency, this simple system, and because it's better, it doesn't need to be more complicated. So there's a lot to learn, and that's why we have resources like nadura.com, so make sure to check that out. Let us know what you think of this debate. Leave some comments. I'm Cody with Up to Code. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you around.